What's up guys? So today I'm checking out a brand new retro game console uh, with a very interestingly designed game controller. I was actually quite shocked when I saw this um, and I had to pick it up. Wow, check it out guys. PS5 controller, oh my God, it's so light. It's almost like hollow. Uh, powered by two AAA batteries which don't appear to be included in the box. You got a power button at the bottom, dual joysticks, clickable all your trigger buttons uh, feels nothing like a ps5 controller it just looks like it it just looks like a really poor copy of it so you get two of them exactly the same two controllers and here is the brains behind it all this is the game console itself it's uh, it looks more like a tv stick so hdmi connection on the front full-size USB port and a micro USB power socket and there is a micro SD card already installed so we're gonna have a quick look at the size so we have a 64 gig micro SD pre-installed so that plugs into the back of your TV there is a USB dongle you plug that in and then the controllers once you put the batteries in will be operational what else do we get so an HDMI extension cable to help you connect this to the back of your TV and a micro USB power cable to power the thing up Let's check out the specs. So this game stick is powered by the S905X3 quad-core chip with the Mali G31 graphics. You've got one gig of LPDDR4 RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. But if you did want to swap this card out, it supports up to 128 gigabytes. Now this system supports all your retro classics from PSP, PS1, N64, GBA, um, Arcade, and the list goes on you get over 10,000 games. So without any further ado, I'm gonna get this all hooked up and we're gonna find out exactly what this is all about. I'll be right back. So here are the system menus and you can see all the games are numbered and they are in categories. So we're looking at PSP games first, indicated at the top with the PSP icon. And you can see the game screenshot on the left as you toggle through the games. So nice looking menus, user friendly, easy to use. And of course you have a lot of games to choose from. If you tap right, you can skip right through to different systems. Again, it tells you at the top which system you are browsing through. Now you can get more options if you press the L1 or R1 trigger buttons, including search and the ability to select a specific system for your convenience. And if you press the select button, you can check out the system settings and let's quickly go through them. So you have languages, you can view the file system, you can customize the key sound settings, You've got options for screen scale settings, and then you've got restore to default, about, and exit settings. Okay, so let's test out some games in action, starting off with PSP. So as you can see, PSP games play fine, but the audio is a little bit fuzzy. No idea why. Gameplay is, however, quite good. PlayStation 1 games play fine. Both audio and video are spot on. And N64 has to be my favorite, especially playing WCW versus NWO Revenge. I absolutely used to love this game. Sound and video spot on, and this game is still so enjoyable to play. So we're going to finally finish off with some Street Fighter on SNES. And as you can see, it plays flawless. So there you have it, guys. That was the new U9 retro game console stick with the PS5 inspired controllers. And to be totally honest, this console is actually not bad for the price. Yes, it feels a little cheap in quality, but the overall fun factor is there. The PS5 inspired controllers are fine, but if you did not like them, you can use your own USB or wireless USB controller and it's simply plug and play. 
I really like the menus and selection of games that are on offer. You can definitely add your own games by inserting the SD card into a PC and transferring them. This is a great little present for retro gaming fans out there. Will certainly put a smile on your face as you unbox this for yourselves. Love the nostalgia feel you get from this. I hope you found this one useful. Links are in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have an amazing day. Peace.